Hi, um, I am going to show you how to do nail trims on your dog. I'm Cynthia and this is Tuck and I'm going to try to attempt this to do this by myself. So this is something I would do at home. Um, take my glasses off. Um, and Tuck is pretty good for nail trims. He doesn't like it, um, but he cooperates, uh, especially if I have treats. He's like, oh yes, we got to treats. <laughs> Um, so when you're starting to think about um, uh, providing nail trims on your dogs or doing nail trims for your dog, you want to get your dog comfortable with the equipment. So you, you want to make sure they're comfortable with their nail trimmers. So this is something I would do prior to actually doing the nail trim. It's just kind of like showing them the nail trimmers. He's like, oh, he knows what those are. He doesn't like them. <laughs> showing him the nail trimmers and giving him treats. See, it's a nail trimmer. Give the treat. See, good, 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 good. Yeah, good boy. Give the treat. So you would maybe want to do this multiple times without actually trimming the nails. So you want a really positive reinforcement around the nail trimmers. So I have my treats. I have my nail trimmers. Um, a couple of different sizes, um, but with Tuck, I will probably use the big ones. And then I also have my what's called a styptic powder or like a clotting powder um, which you can buy or you can use cornstarch also works and this is if you clip the quick of the nail the quick of the nail is the fleshy part of the nail that is sort of inside the nail and you want to make sure you try to avoid that when you're trimming your pet's nails um, now tuck has white nails which is great it's much easier to see where the quick is and if you zoom in you can see the pink is where the quick is and that's where you want to avoid cutting so tuck is a very good boy we're gonna give treats <laughs> so i'm just gonna push on his feet a little bit it's okay you're fa always falling down falling i know tucky and then I'm just gonna clip, if you can see. Good boy. And we don't hit the quick. Good boy, Tuck. <laughs> He's like, oh, you slippy here, mom. I know, buddy. Hold on. Good boy. Good boy. Did you get a treat? Did you get a treat? Good boy. <laughs> I'll do a few more. I know, Tucky. Sometimes. Tucky's a little bit big to put in my lap. <laughs> get, get out of there, you bum. You bum. He's, again, he's not a huge fan, but he's he cooperates. Hold on, buddy. I know. Good boy. Good boy. So you want to try and make it a positive experience. The dew claw is harder to kind of see. <laughs> now, if you can't quit, if you hit the quick and it does bleed, you want to put pressure on it. So you can use just some, we have some gauze with the powder or with cornstarch and you would just, give me a buddy. Hold it on the nail like this until the bleeding stops. So that's basically the gist. <laughs> um, Tucky is easier to do than a lot of dogs because he has white nails, which makes it easier to see that quick. And I know that's the fear is that um, people are gonna hit that quick and it's gonna bleed um, and the dogs are gonna hate the nail trims. Um, so with Tuck, I started when he was a puppy and I got him used to nail trims from a really early age um, and I've always done them. Um, and so he's, he's not a huge fan, but he's pretty cooperative. Pretty good boy. Um, so that's how you do a nail trim on your dog.